Did Paul survive his encounter with Jason in Friday the 13th, part two? This has always been a topic of debate amongst the fandom, with no real clear answer to the question outside of the production's intentions, which when actually looked at, doesn't add up, mostly due to inconsistent information we are given in the next film. Most of my longtime viewers will remember my old video about the possibility of Paul even being connected to Jason, possibly working together even to go as far as to kill Alice. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below, since I will be using a good bit of information from that video to further my theory here. Now that being said, did Paul survive? As of today, I have not seen any evidence outside of a behind the scenes production photo of Paul seemingly being killed or already dead based on the face he was making and a small trickle of blood seemed coming down from the side of his head. However, this photo has been debunked as just being a shot taken on set while goofing around. So it shouldn't be taken as canon and certainly not as proof of Paul's demise. As I have said before, Paul being killed ultimately contradicts the body count number given in part three. Eight corpses have been discovered in what is already being called the most brutal and heinous crime in local history. Which, with Paul added, would raise the count to nine, making me think that Paul definitely survived. But the bigger question is, where did he go? Fans will remember that Paul is absent from the ambulance scene while Jenny asks for him. And during the news segment in part three, it's often said by fans that Jenny is the sole survivor. However, Jenny Field miraculously survived repeated attacks by the axe wielding killer and was taken to a local hospital today. We clearly hear that to not be the case, meaning that there could be another survivor, that of course being Paul. Originally, I thought that Paul may have just fled, having been complicit in Jason's actions and running to avoid implication. But an alternate theory could also be that he simply called for the ambulances and was taken to the hospital first while an unconscious Jenny was being tended to for her wounds. But it seems that however I look at it, I constantly come back to Paul being alive and the first male survivor of the franchise. And it makes me wonder if he still owns Pakenek, if he indeed ever did, and what has happened to the Counselor Training Center since Jason's murder spree in 1984. But that's my theory. Do you agree? Or do you think that Paul is indeed dead? Comment below with your own theory, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe, as well as hitting the notification bell to be alerted whenever a new video is uploaded. And as always, I am JG Dark, and thanks for watching.